Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this evening where I'm returning to the pitch. The pitch? I think it's the pitch. The pitch. The field. The green thing with grass. <laughs> this is season one, episode seven of Ted Lasso. Just as Ted is bringing his guys together to become a team, Jamie gets traded back to his original squad. Because Rebecca ain't having it. <laughs> oh. And she has found out that Ted is the baker of the biscuits. Of the recipe he just cracked. <laughs> is, that, is that recipe posted anywhere? I would like to know. But I'm just going to get right into it. And I'm so glad that you are here with me for this adventure. So if you haven't already, now is a good time to press subscribe. So you know when the next video drops, you can also watch this full whole episode with me on Patreon, where I'd also love to see you. I've got my beverage. There's a teeny tiny nip in the air. So I finally was able to bring back the big cozy blanket. I have all of you. So if you're ready, let's get to it. No, Trevor, oh. The back has to go all the way in, okay? Use all the space, out the way. Thank was this Nate's job before Ted came along was bus packer? Wow, that is all willy-nilly. No. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Pull out your phone. Pull out your phone. It's actually a team in Liverpool. Like the Beatles. If you see John, Paul, George, or Ringo, will you take a picture, please? <laughs> Oh. And mom wants to talk to you. Hold on. Okay. Still haven't told him that John and George are dead? They're what? It was Keith Richards. And I'm sorry, I know this isn't easy, but the paperwork the lawyer sent. Well, I know. Yo, hey. Wow, it's right there. He has it right there. For how long? Oh, no. Wait, that was a happy anniversary for. Oh, no. And I just want to say up front that I'm really flattered you asked me to come this weekend. Oh, come on now. But hey, we're both single. I think you are super hot. But I'm going to dip my toe back into the lady pool. I can't think of a better <laughs> body of water to do it with than you. <laughs> Blow off some steam and have some wicked sex with your new friend. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> oh, my God. Serious? I mean, can you imagine? Oh, I have. <laughs> we have a new passenger on today's flight. Actually, Keely, we're taking your seat on the jet, Higgins. Oh. Oh. Because Higgins has been going against Rebecca's plans. I need you to stay here this weekend. Mm-hmm. Doing work that doesn't matter. Rebecca! All right, gentlemen. Who's ready to go show everything what we got? Woo! Oh yeah, Daniel Rojas. We met Daniel Rojas. Hey guys, seriously, come on. Talk to me. <laughs> What's up? Oh, we're fine. <laughs> we're in a shit fucking mood because we never fucking win at Everton and it sucks fucking shit. Thank you, Roy. How long has it been since y'all won up at Everton? Being on. 60 years ago. Whoa! Wow. Well, Brian tore his butt. It's my upper hamstring, coach. Nothing to be ashamed of, okay? It happens. <laughs> People tear their butts all the time in athletics. <laughs> hey, coach, you've torn your butt a few times, right? Three times. Three yeah. times. <laughs> He's going to be filling in at goalie. Give it up to Zorro. Oh, it's pronounced um, Zorro. I'm sorry. Zorro. 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 Unless one of y'all got a crystal ball, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. That's why we play the game. So let me hear it. Richmond on three. One, two, three. Richmond. Richmond. Yay, Danny. <laughs> Uh, you've lost one, you've drawn one, you've not scored any goals. Yeah. So I'm wondering, Ooh. how worried are you about the threat of relegation? Well, Lloyd, right now I'm mostly concerned with the definition of relegation. He, he, he doesn't... He doesn't know what relegation is. I think one of the neatest things about being a coach is the connection you get to make with your players. You know, that's a loss that hits me a lot harder and it's going to stay with me a lot longer than anything that happens while playing a game on a patch of grass. Oh, hey, last one there's a scotch egg. <laughs> does, okay, does Ted know what a scotch egg is? <gasps> oh, yay. 
Is anyone able, or I should say not able, when you're packing something or you're putting something away or organizing something, the Tetris song is constantly in my head. No matter what, no matter what I'm packing, sorting, ding, 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 all the time. That's how you do it. Uh, is that to show you the various room amenities? No, thank you. My lady and I want to have a quick shag and a shower before we hit the town tonight. Welcome to Liverpool. <laughs> Come on, the image I just gave him is going to last for a lifetime. No, it's, it's not you, it's... Oh, wait, she's been in this room. Rupert's at my anniversary weekend, and it's the first one I've spent Please. by myself. <sighs> Hopefully Keely will set Rebecca to rights right quick about everything. To remind you, the hotel furniture stays in the rooms, not the hallway. Is this their first away trip? Can't be their first away trip. Woo! Room 5150, finally. Sammy Hagar, greatest lead singer in Van Halen history. In the post David Lee Roth era. Thank you. Coach, what room you got? 5148. Hey. Howdy, Howdy neighbor. Sierge, <laughs> to make us a reservation somewhere tonight. Ship these steakhouses unmatched in its cuisine and ambiance. Mm, is it now? Does 8 p.m. work for you? The business center is open 24 hours a day. What was that about the business Guests center? Guests also have access to our state of the <gasps> gym, filled with the latest. In oh, Keely. Oh Liverpool God. has much to offer when it comes to nightlife, from pubs and clubs to the great Asian pastime of karaoke. I don't even remember doing this. Wow. Hello, Sadinky. Who is this? Who's this then? Is this your concubine? Is she Russian? Are you Russian? A, I love you. B, who are you? It's Flo Collins, proud newly single mm -hmm. mother to the oh. most amazing 12 year old little girl called Nora. My goddaughter. Ah, so Flo. Completely neglected to speak to in the last six years. Oh. You heard about the divorce? Oh, yeah. I bumped into Darren at a party. He told me right after he hit on me. Oh. Look what I've got. Mm, Ta da! <gasps> Sold up a room service trolley outside. You're amazing. <laughs> I'm Keely, by the way. Hi. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I know who you are, honey. My ex used to masturbate to you like a maniac. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Iron Giant. Okay. <laughs> Talking about? Okay, Nate. So if you and me, what would you tell these guys? Oh, no, I wouldn't. No, I don't. What are you afraid is going to happen if you tell me? That you won't like my idea and it makes you hate me. Then you fire me. Then I have to move back in with my parents and they'll be ashamed of me. And then everyone finds out back home and laughs at me until my face melts off. Excuse me. Wow, that is a lot of anxiety right there. Oh my goodness, Michelle, he's on an away game. All right. Hey, do me a favor. Keep an eye on these guys. Because around the 74 minute mark, there's going to be a room full of grown men crying. I'll be one of them. <laughs> he's prepared. Would you ladies like another bottle? A little dessert, perhaps? My Ew, sexy hello. And extremely single hello, sir. friend here actually prefers her desserts on the larger side. If that's something you could possibly accommodate. I'll give you a few minutes. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't smoke anymore. Oh. And yet, you're still on fire. Mm. Gosh, I hope Flo was there. Hope Flo was there on good terms and not gonna mess over Rebecca somehow. What are you doing? Uh, I was wondering if y'all had a fax machine. <laughs> fax machine? It's a good question. If you bear with me a second, I'll just. Yes. They have a printer, they've got a fax machine that's to a scanner. Yeah, I'm Ted. Sassy. Sassy, huh? Like the Smurf, right? <laughs> the concierge was able to locate one at a tanning salon eight miles away in Croxteth. If you have a scanner, got a fax machine. I don't know why it's bothering me, but it is. Smoke and hope my friend picks up the check while I was gone. Then I saw Magnum PI in line, figured I'd flirt with him as well. Yeah, I think I fucked it. I, I actually get off in about 30 minutes if you'd like to. Uh, no, of course not. Why would you? Oh, Mr. Front Desk, you shooting his shot. To Rebecca. Yeah, that's not Rebecca. No, the real Rebecca is silly. Strong, yeah, but not cold. 
Have you ever heard her sing? Her and Nora would sing through the door for hours. Do you want to build a snowman? Is Nora? <laughs> My daughter. The goddaughter. Yeah, if you like that one, then you are going to love Rebecca. Ready? Mm. What about the bill? Thank you. Miss Welton. <laughs> Wait, do you want to do that thing where you pretend you wanted to pay? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is really good fun. Join in. <gasps> and he has the army man with him. <gasps> oh, Ted's been hitting the mini bar. They'll take a JPEG file of the... Oh, wow. What is this? Which well, just my thoughts on the team. Go, Nathan. Come on, it's past curfew. Go, get out of here. <laughs> He's too Jackson, Nathan. Should have been a little bit more sly. Liverpool has much to offer. <laughs> hey guys, got some snacks here. <laughs> oh, wow! He actually gets to watch the game with the family. The last time Richmond left here with a win, the number one song in the UK was by Elvis Presley. It's now or never. It's now or never. I bit your head off for no good reason, and I'm really sorry about that, and I hope you can forgive me. Read through your thoughts? Yeah. And I agree with every last one, but I can't say this to you. But I need to hear it. I agree. So he's going to say it. That's why you're going to do it. Nate's going to say it. Are you drunk? Hangover. I, sh I know. It'll be fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, that is a sweat box there. Isaac. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this, brother, right? <laughs> I've noticed of late. I've noticed of late that you've been playing like a big dumb pussy. Wow, wow, Nate wrote that down. He scrubbed that on paper. There's a way to be intimidating without being physical. I hope you don't mind me saying. Um, <laughs> I've had the, the coat. <laughs> do, do oh, you think that's funny, do you, Colin? You know, you fancy step over bullshit. Let me ask you this Do you wax your pubes? What? Did I stutter, dickhead? Oh, do no. you wax your pubes, yes or no? No. Then why are you always trying to play like a Brazilian? Wow. Wow. Uh, Rojas. Ooh. Gross me, amigo. Right, you say that football <laughs> is life, right? <laughs> yeah, well, then your defence is death. Oh. The only person I've seen lose a man more often is Carrie fucking Bradshaw. Oh. Wow. Wow. Roast me, amigo. Right, Roy. <laughs> say it to my face. Go on. Say what you're gonna say. Okay. <gasps> so say it. Say it to my face. The great Roy Kent. You're old now. And slow. And your focus Put drifts. This on paper. Your speed and your smarts were never what made you who you are. It's your anger. That's your superpower. That's what made oh. you one of the best midfielders in the history of this league. But that anger doesn't come out anymore when you play. But it's still in there. He's tired. And I'm afraid of what it's going to do to you if you just keep it all for yourself. Big pip top. Let's go get these fuckers. <laughs> See, I told you it'd be fun. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it would have landed a lot differently if um, Ted had said it. <laughs> Richmond have won at Everton. One nil. One nil. One nil. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, boss. Can I uh, just introduce you to... Uh... Sassy Smurf! <laughs> Sassy Smurf. I didn't know you were here. Surprise. I've been thinking about you a lot this weekend. Ah. Because you and your crazy hair keep popping up every time I turn on my TV. <laughs> so we're going out, we're celebrating, and we're going to rub it in this city's fucking face! Yeah. Oh, that could be... Oh, that might not work out well. Woo! Right, where are we going? Disneyland. Kaylee? 
<laughs> well, Liverpool has much to offer, from pubs to clubs to the great Asian pastime of... I said maybe. Maybe. Oh, my gosh, she's doing Oasis. Oh my gosh, Ted, aren't you warm? What's Marva Man's story then? Because I kind of want to grab him by the ears and ride that little moustache like a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for disappearing from you, from Nora. I'm really? Thank you. Mm. Oh, God, that man took so much from me. No, you're the one who stopped coming home, stopped calling, who made a six year old girl wonder what she'd done wrong. I'll always be your biggest offender, but you have to own up to the part that you played. You're right. <laughs> Come on, Rebecca, your song's up next. What? <gasps> oh, yeah. Who uh... <laughs> could have done that? See? <laughs> wow. Coach Beard with the Gaga. I don't even know what song I'm singing, but I would like to dedicate it to the best friend a girl could ever have. That is me. She's talking about me. <laughs> 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 Was not, do you want to build a snowman? To be seen. Kingdom of isolation. Wind is howling like this swirling storm. <laughs> They're all captivated. Heaven knows I... <gasps> oh no, Ted. Oh no, this is going to hit Ted differently. Oh no. Don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. This is hitting on so many levels for so many different people. And it's Roy singing along? Has he been out there? I've gone crazy. <laughs> no more than anyone else. Do you want to take my car? No, 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 I'm okay. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. All right. Hey, do me a favor. Just, um, just let Beard know I went back to the hotel. Of course. Okay. You just get home safe. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. I really, really, really need a Becca to not be working against the team. I really need that. And he fell over. Oh, the little man fell over. Excuse me, Betty from Guys, 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 I think we should take the boys to the pub. <laughs> I think I'm tapping out for the evening too, actually. So I have to take 18 young, handsome men all by myself. Oh, trauma. <laughs> right, want to move back to the hotel? Oh, uh, no. Um, I think I'm going to walk, actually. She'll have an escort. Hmm. This is me. He's leaning. He's leaning. That was a good lean. That was a really good lean. Good night. <laughs> Soul searching to do. Oh, <gasps> he said, a one moment, just one moment. That's a good luck, too. That's a good luck, too, sir. Sassy Smurf. <laughs> Sassy Smurf, I bet, is someone Ted has not, not, uh, experienced before. Well, we've had some shifts in people and characterizations, haven't we? As I said before, I really need Rebecca to not be working against the interests of the team. I want her to be on, on this, I want her to grow and, and flourish in spite 
spite of Rupert, not because of Rupert. That is her team. I want it. I want her to make Richmond her team and do well and prosper. So I'm really, I'm really, I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait and it better happen. I cannot wait for that moment in the show where she decides to go, no, this is my team. Mm. Seeing Ted struggling with the dissolution of his marriage is heartbreaking, but I'm glad it's there because he, so far to me, Ted appears to be a man who feels deeply. So as much positivity he has, you know there is just as much negativity, which is why I think he runs so positive because when he hits low, it's low. Um, I kind of ride in the middle. <laughs> so I understand the polarity, which is why I aim for the middle. We had Nate stepping up, which is great. Some of y'all had mentioned in the comments and on Patreon about how Keely, what's great about Keely is that she's always positive and she's always especially positive towards other women. She doesn't put them down. She doesn't, she's not snarky or backstabby like with the Bex Jamie auction situation. She could have been not so kind to Bex, but no, she was still positive. So like here when Flo arrives, okay, so my instinct was, okay, here's this woman that comes out of nowhere. Rebecca has ignored her for the last six years. Is she there to cause chaos or is she there really to be there for her friend? And so far it looks as if she's there to be there for her friend. What a side quest to Ted's room. <laughs> so I'm hoping that stays the case, that Flo still stays a positive person in Rebecca's life. I trust no one, so I'm always cute, side-eyed. Why are you here? <laughs> That's amazing. And as a bonus, we got two, two little nibbles of awesome sexual masculinity. Roy, the lean, that was a good lean. And then that waiter, the way he was strutting across that restaurant, you might not have noticed. I noticed and I appreciated it. Thank you, sir. Subtle, subtle, but hot. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Where are we gonna go next? Okay, so we've won a second game but it was an impossible game to win. They have won it. Do we have momentum? And is Rebecca going to continue to grow and flourish? God, I hope so. Mm, there we go, episode seven. Thank you so much for being with me. And until next time, this is a reminder to hit subscribe. Why haven't you? I would greatly appreciate it. Also, it helps the channel. Take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Stretch. Let it go. <laughs> come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.